opportunity to organize and present the Climate Ready Certificates methodology, so the CRC, CRC methodology to the to the Be Water Smart Consortium. Um, as probably most of you know, the CRC methodology is an evolution of an already existing system that is in place at Aden since 2017, uh, which is called Equaplus. This, this system, the, the Equaplus, is a water efficiency certification system uh, which aims to access real state development's response to water efficiency. The genesis of this, uh, of this system is, of course, water efficiency, but since its early stage, uh, the concerns were brought up, uh, namely the water energy nexus. And just let me share with you that we are very proud that the system has already been distinguished at the European level in several forms. And the most recent one was a shortlisted project at the 2021 European Enterprise Promotion Awards uh, in the category of support to a sustainable transition. Regarding the Be Water Smart project and our participation in it, our ADEN's participation in it, uh, namely integrated in the Lisbon Living Lab, it brought up the possibility to further expand our system, the AquaPlus, and to look beyond water efficiency, bring, bringing into the equation the water energy nexus and the climate adaptation dimensions to this evaluation. It really has been a very demanding challenge to be able to widen the scope of the certificate, while at the same time to concentrate in one single uh, document these three dimensions. So the water efficiency, the, um, the water energy nexus and the climate adaptation. And so today is really it's really a, ple a pleasure to present our work here to, um, to the consortium partners. The CRC methodology has been applied to several pilots in different scales, from dwellings uh, to buildings and neighborhoods, and in different stages as well, such as as a project in a construction phase and in use. So it enables uh, a diversity of applications, which is a very robust step towards uh, a transversal and harmonized overview of the city blocks, and, and it allows to evaluate and to pinpoint the, the gaps, the challenges and the opportunities uh, towards a complementary vision of an area and of a city. Today's session is an opportunity for ADEN to present uh, its work, the work that we have been developing, and to discuss it with you um, and also envisioning the, the potential transfer scenarios has foreseen for Bodo. It will have an introductory part by my colleague, Pedro Cardoso, who is the project manager on behalf of ADEN, following the presentation of the three dimensions, also by my colleagues, Patricia Dias and Silvia Romelos. Upon the presentation of the CRC methodology, uh, Pedro will present uh, the, the Be Water Smart platform, which is the digital tool where the climate ready certificates can be issued by an auditor and showcase it with, um, with the application of, uh, of the methodology to a building and to a neighborhood. So we thank you again for your participation here today um, and hope the session can be dynamic and fruitful. And we, we welcome all your comments and suggestions. From my side, it's all now. Pedro, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marina. So let's uh, um, start. Um, <clears throat> just to, to um, if some somebody uh, join us, uh, please, uh, if you can accept it, because otherwise I can um, I can see the the main screen. Um, and so um, for today, uh, we have. Uh, um, the uh, brief presentation of the climate ready certificates methodology so it's not a, an extensive uh, um, uh, uh, presentation of all, all aspects of the methodologies just big points the the the, the big the big uh, biggest numbers and scenarios um, then um, we'll have a 10 minutes coffee break and we'll pass to the walkthrough on a case study of the methodology in the the platform 
Um, and we uh, hope to have uh, um, uh, some discussion to 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 hear from you uh, your your suggestions and 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 uh, and, and remarks. And uh, um, we will close the session at uh, uh, four uh, twenty-five. So. Uh, what are the, the climate ready certificates? So this this certification, as Marina uh, also also ma mentioned, is um, w uh, a certificate that um, uh, joins and combines water efficiency, water energy nexus, and uh, climate adaptation. Um, this um, methodology can be applied to um, and was uh, uh, built uh, uh, for for for, uh, for these um, specific uh, um, types of buildings, which were uh, are residential buildings, small service, and commercial buildings. Um, and this uh, talking about the scale, this can be um, um, applied to dwellings, buildings, and neighborhoods. Uh, what we consider a, a neighborhood is um, a group of uh, um, buildings uh, and um, outdoor spaces like gardens like or other public uh, um, uh, public uh, building or, or um, equipment like uh, a garden, uh, um, a sports facility, um, um, a, a swimming a community swimming pool, etc. Um, but that uh, as a um, um is uh, um um something uh, um similar uh, between them so it it has a um a personality uh, uh, so we cannot uh, join um well um, uh, buildings without a purpose so we uh, uh, we uh, for the neighborhoods want to to have um, a coherence a coherent uh, characteristics of these buildings um, and uh, regarding the, the phase where this methodology can be applied, uh, we can apply it in the design phase, in nuclear construction, and in the operation. Um, so this is a, um, a methodology that has a scale that uh, um, runs from F less efficient to A plus is the, the, the most efficient. Uh, we have a global scale. Uh, for the certificate, so for example, for a building, and then we have sub scales or sub uh, uh, scores that we apply to the um, dimensions of the of the buildings, um, uh, water energy nexus, uh, uh, water efficiency, and climate uh, adaptation. And um, in, in the, this methodology, we can. Uh, um, uh, response to the questions uh, like uh, uh, only with a single uh, uh, option uh, and we choose the, the best option that fits our our assessment multiple uh, choices like uh, a list of uh, uh, characteristics and we select which characteristics are uh, um, uh, fits better uh, our assessment uh, in a form of, of a percentage and multiple percentage multiple percentage is just um, a designation that um, in that particular question the the the, the score can be more than 100 uh, per, uh, points uh, percentual points but we will soon uh, um, see the, uh, this in uh, in in action in the the platform. Um, so um, Aqua Aqua Plus is um, is the origin of uh, this uh, uh, or the idea uh, or, or the original idea of the climate ready certificate. It it uh, a commercial um, a system that are, are already implemented in in, in ADEM, um, and uh, um, it's a voluntary system. Uh, again, it has we we conserve the, the same scale uh, from F to A plus. And but but the system uh, was much more is much more focused on um, energy efficiency. Um, so, I'm sorry, uh, water efficiency and. Uh, um, uh, a fraction of the water energy nexus it doesn't have a, a large uh, um, 
large commitment in uh, uh, water energy nexus uh, uh, and don't have uh, uh, have uh, um, a climate adaptation um, dimension which we um, developed uh, from scratch um, uh, in the be water smart project so uh, another thing uh, that uh, aqua plus uh, um, was not uh, or was, uh, was extended by the um, climate ready certificates methodology uh, is the ambit of applications uh, because um, the residential uh, aqua plus uh, was um, uh, was uh, made to um, be applied in uh, households or um, single uh, homes um, and then we um, opened the, 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 the ambit of this uh, certificate with, uh, within the Be Water Smart project. And uh, we have, uh, um, this, these are our, our examples of, of some equipment that we um, must have to um, to conduce uh, to conduct the, the the audits, like uh, uh, flow meters or uh, standard volumes to to measure the water flow, um, metric tapes, a thermometer, a chronographer, a thermographic camera uh, in order to see if uh, there is a possibility of uh, water losses. Um, a photographic camera and a pressure uh, meter. The thermometer is uh, um, used uh, for um, to um, uh, to assess the water temperature of pools, uh, um, if that's the case, or uh, um, in order to um, to measure the, uh, how much uh, water is spent uh, um, before we get the water at the right temperature uh, for a, a bath or a shower, etc. Um, but you will see uh, how this is um, how we perform it in in the methodology. So this is. Um, a methodology uh, uh, with with these uh, three uh, uh, main uh, um, main domains, and uh, Patricia will uh, um, present you uh, the water efficiency uh, domain. I will give the control to to Patricia. <clears throat> Can you ask uh, permission? Hello, good afternoon, Pedro. I, I don't. You have to share the slide presentation so that I can take control, please. Or do you want me to share? Um, I can share, but I was sharing the the, the presentation. You were, but now okay. you are. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Sorry about it. Can you put it in the presentation, slide presentation? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. I think you already hello. have the control. Uh, hello, I am having difficulty in having the control, uh, but good afternoon. I'm Patricia Malta Dias uh, from Aden. I'm uh, currently managing Aqua Plus, uh, which I'm going to present. Uh, but uh, since I can't uh, move the slides, can you do it, please, Pedro? Um, move to the yes, next but, one? but I, I think. Oh, uh, no, it's it's all right. Oh. OK, I've just moved. <laughs> sorry, sorry for this for this time. So as I told you, I'm going to present Aqua, Aqua Plus. Aqua Plus is the classification system of water efficiency, one of the uh, question, uh, questionnaires that uh, uh, are included in Be Water in climate ready certificates. Uh, Aqua Plus has uh, four areas of evaluation that unfold and themes, and then, of course, we have the evaluation criteria. Here you can see uh, the five areas, 
which are water sources and networks that unfolds to evaluate the alternative water sources and water networks. Uh, you can see also the second area, outside uses, where we, we evaluate irrig irrigation, soil and roofs and swimming pools, if there are any. Uh, then we go to fixtures efficiency, a, a very important evaluation area where we, we evaluate showers, toilets, sinks, uh, bidets and kitchen taps. Uh, we also evaluate the area washing machines where we look at lo the laundry machine and the dishwasher. And the uh, last area is the domestic hot water where we evaluate the water heated system and the hot water distribution network. To give you some examples of the evaluation that is uh, made in each area, uh, when we look at the area alternative water sources and water distribution, uh, we need to know if the building is provided by a system for alternative water uh, sources use. And we uh, want to know which type of uh, source is, it use, is, is used. So the examples are is the rainwater harvesting or the treated grey water, reclaimed water or surface or groundwater. Then it is very important to know uh, the destination of these uh, alternative water use. So we've uh, the, the the evaluation valorizes the water reuse in irrigation, pavement washing, toilet flushing, washing machines, water fountains or, or other. Then we need to know also, and here we touch the nexus, the, the water efficiency, water energy nexus. Uh, we want to know if uh, the reuse of water is made exclusively by gravity or if it uses renewable energy. And we valorize energy efficiency. And also uh, we uh, need to know if the building is prepared to monitor water consumption in all its forms. And we value uh, the monitoring by assessing the water management and control, of course. The next area, oops, sorry. I think you. I moved too many slides. Jump to yeah yeah. Uh, Pedro, can you can you put it back, please? Sorry. Yeah. Now outside uses. Here we want to know which is the type of ir irrigation system and we valorize, of course, water efficiency. So uh, drip irrigation is more efficient than the micro sprinkler irrigation and the sprayers and diffusers, then the macro sprinkler irrigations, and lastly, the hose with flow restrictor. Uh, we want to know also which is the system activation used and we valorize the, the censoring, uh, humidity censoring or other type of intelligence to, to in order to reduce irrigation and of course water use. Uh, we also uh, need to know how is the attenuation of flood, peak, flood peaks carried out and we uh, assess uh, how rain retention is done, if it is in the building. Uh, and there are uh, several methods like uh, under what underground rotation systems, rain gardens or uh, terraced gardens. And when we look at swimming pools, an example uh, of what we uh, evaluate is how is the decrease uh, in the swimming pool water renewal rate compensated. And of course, here we valorize the, the, the reduced water renewal. And there are very, uh, several uh, methods to reduce uh, these water usual, usage. When you, we look at fixtures, and when we speak about fixtures, we are fixtures. We are uh, speaking about shower heads, sinks, uh, bidets, and kitchen taps. Uh, we look at the main functional characteristic characteristics so that we valorize the ones that minimize the use of water. And for example, we are looking for flow re restrictors with aerators or echo stop with fixed flow position or taps which are timed or with a sensor. Uh, 
Uh, regarding toilet flush, uh, flushes, the functional characteristics uh, are uh, if they are prepared to receive alternative water sources or he, if they are uh, the deposit has double discharge or interrupted uh, discharge. Of course, in all fixtures, we uh, we evaluate uh, the flow and the uh, water losses of all of them so that uh, we uh, see if they are efficiency in terms of, of water usage also. Devices, and here we are looking at dishwashers in the washing machines or laundry machines, <laughs> as it was in, in the previous slide. And of course, here we valorize the characteristics that minimize the use of your water. And not not only uh, we, in Aquaplus, we don't uh, analyze energy efficiency. We look at water efficiency. So we look for the minimum use of water in terms of specific consumption. And uh, of course, we uh, also analyze how long uh, the, the age of the, these machines so that uh, the most recent devices are much more efficiency, not only in terms of course energy, but also water e efficiency. And lastly, the last area is the domestic hot water. And here uh, we are going to look again at functional characteristics of this system. And we, here we, we valorize the, the minimization of water and energy consumption. So we are looking at flow and temperature regulation and thermostatic modulation. And of course, integration of uh, DH uh, the, of, with solar heating systems. Um, of course, we look also at uh, water losses evidences. It's always uh, trying to minimize the, the, the use of water and uh, we emphasize uh, the importance of maintenance of these equipment equipments. And uh, here touching again the Nexus, we also uh, see or are looking for, we also look for the insulation of the domestic hot water network. So, and these are uh, some examples of the uh, identification of criteria that uh, are evaluated in the ACOPLUS uh, methodology. That is uh, one of the basis of the Climate Ready Certificate and, I, it, and it is all for uh, water efficiency. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, just... Uh, um... A small uh, comment for for you all. Uh, if you want to, um, or if you have some doubt and want to to discuss a particular point uh, uh, that you 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 um, you see in the the, the presentation, um, you you can write uh, um, in the the in the comments, and we'll discuss it also in the question and, and answers. A part of this uh, this session. Uh, otherwise, we we have a, 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 a discussion um, more more generic um, regarding the water energy nexus. This uh, methodology um, is uh, um, spreads in in, in uh, these uh, areas like uh, alternative water sources, water distribution and network, irrigation, swimming pool, fixtures, washing machines, domestic hot water, and energy monitoring. Um, these are uh, um, these have uh, these areas are uh, are very similar uh, with the, the water uh, efficiency um, um, di dimension. Uh, but we now are focused on the energy side of this uh, this evaluation. Um, so, for uh, alternative water sources, we um, are focused on abstraction and reuse of water and energy and maintenance. And um, the uh, the abstraction and reuse are focus the uh, energy consumption of the process of the treatment process of the pumping pro uh, or the, the pumping system uh, um, consumption uh, in terms of energy in water distribution and networks we evaluate uh, pumping and circulation and also energy and maintenance 
Um, in irrigation, we only focus on the energy necessary for the irrigation. In the swimming pool, we have uh, um, this um, um, the, the consumptions uh, is also uh, evaluation evaluated, and also the um, indoor um, uh, swimming pools uh, has uh, um, quite a lot of particularities that are uh, interesting to uh, be assessed. In, in in terms of of energy like uh, um the 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 temperature of the the water the um the 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 efficiency of the water uh, heating the hot uh, hot water system and also um, uh, regarding the um, questions of health like uh, uh, to guarantee that we have a uh, um, uh, correct um, uh, humidity inside the indoor swimming pools um, in the fixtures uh, we evaluate uh, essentially uh, pressure and head loss uh, washing machine we uh, evaluate the efficiency of the machines uh, for the domestic hot water, we um, evaluated the insulation of the uh, networks and also the energy and maintenance. And the, uh, for um, the energy monitor monitoring, we uh, assess the monitoring systems uh, in terms of uh, um, energy. Um, so, uh, in, in alternative water sources, uh, um, uh, um, essentially um, on the, what kind of treatments uh, these uh, alternative wa water sources have uh, before uh, being uh, used in the, in the buildings or in the, the, the outdoor spaces. Um, and uh, if, because there, um, if, um, if you uh, have different uh, um, ways of treat uh, this water, uh, you also have different ways of uh, water uh, energy consumption um, allocated to the to the, the type of of uh, treatment that uh, is chosen. Um, we also want to, to evaluate to evaluate in other two water sources what uh, are the um, the uh, the sources of water in terms of, of energy if this water is is uh, uh, available um, nearby or we have to transport it over a uh, um, large distance and what are the destinations of alternative of these alternative water sources so and then we uh, attribute more um, uh, a score uh, to uh, uses that are more um, uh, energy intensive so this this uh, uh, water and uh, uh, these alternative waters um, um, can uh, can serve this uh, uh, energy intensive uh, uh, process uh, better than the uh, the drinking water in terms of energy consumption for the water distribution and building networks we evaluate the um, efficiency of the the the, the pumps and uh, because um, to evaluate the efficiency of a pump is not a, a, an easy process uh, and it's um, very intrusive. You have to stop the system. Uh, we um, evaluate the efficiency of the pumps um, looking at the efficiency of the electric motor associated to the pump. So um, this is a, a much more um, a simple way to um, have uh, an idea of the uh, efficiency of the pump and uh, we also want to know how uh, is this pumping system maintained because um, the, 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 the efficiency of um, the pumps uh, easily uh, are, are easily degraded in the, the, the uh, in the two years uh, um, uh, period. So um, the maintenance of these systems is very important. Regarding the irrigation, we only focus on the energy that is necessary to um, activate the uh, uh, irrigation system. Uh, regarding the swimming pools, uh, we um, evaluate the the, the, the energy um, efficiency of the all equipments that are uh, um, associated to the swimming pools, uh, either treatment uh, uh, equipments, uh, filters, etc., and also the pumps and uh, circulation pumps of these systems. 
and uh, we uh, also focus on the uh, heated uh, uh, swimming pools. We check the temperature and uh, we assess the uh, humidity uh, inside the, um, the rooms of these uh, um, indoor swimming pools. Uh, regarding the features, we evaluate essentially the, the pressure, um, not only uh, the pressure of uh, the water that is served to the, the, to the, the building, but also the, um, the head loss uh, between uh, the, um, the first entry point or, or use point of water in a house and the last uh, one. So we uh, evaluate how our network um, um, dissipate energy and, uh, uh, and uh, is more or less efficiency uh, if uh, if it provides a lot of head losses, uh, so it's a, a, a network that is not or well designed or uh, in a good shape. So we, we can have also um, risks of uh, water leakages in these networks. Uh, regarding washing machines, we essentially evaluate the uh, efficiency or energy efficiency of these uh, uh, machines. Regarding the the the, the hot water system, we um, evaluate the uh, insulation of the the networks, and also the uh, energy class of the uh, equipments. Um, sorry, this, as you was uh, noticed, the 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 titles were uh, were uh, exchanged, and we have here the uh, monitoring system, which is the. Um, we, we evaluate uh, if uh, there is an energy system that monitors uh, every consumption or uh, uh, or um, for for the uh, several systems energy systems in the the buildings. Now I give the floor to Silvia uh, that will talk to you about uh, uh, climate adaptation dimension of the methodology. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, I'll try sorry. to to control. Let me ask you first. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to stop sharing, otherwise I cannot uh, ask okay. you to Okay, I thought to that I was. Yeah. You are already controlling, Sylvia? No, you need to put it first in presentation mode, please. Okay. Now I, I'll ask you. Okay. So I just need to see the yellows. Okay. Oh, they are here. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Silvia Hamedius. I work as a project manager at uh, ADEN, uh, in particular in the development of the Be Water Smart uh, project with uh, Pedro. So it's up to me to present you the, the last dimension of the Climate Readiness Certificates methodology, which uh, focuses on uh, climate adaptation. Um, just to... It's somehow difficult to see the, the controls, but... Um... Hmm. Well, I, I'm, um, I will put in the next slides. So the... Yeah, it's it's better for you to control it okay. because it's not easy to see the the mm -hmm. controls. Yes, it's, it's on the. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'll be presenting the, um, the 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 last dimension of the climate ready certificates methodology. So it focuses on climate adaptation. Um, the the evaluation matrix um, includes uh, three main areas, as you can see: uh, local strategy and policies, project area, and project response. Um, all three areas uh, encompass diverse teams and, and criteria, as mentioned by my colleagues uh, previously. It's, it's uh, the same uh, approach. And uh, we will have the opportunity to, to see in more detail in, in the following slides um, uh, the themes and criteria encompassed in, in this dimension. So the first area corresponds to local strategy and policies, and uh, it includes uh, three uh, main themes that are presented here in the, in the slides. The first one is um, related with climate risks. So um, it rates the, the level of commitment and effectiveness of the local climate adaptation plan for the project area. 
The second um, theme is related with monitoring and revision. So we uh, will evaluate the periodic updates of the initial assumptions defined in the local climate adaptation plan of uh, the, the municipality. And the last theme is related with critical water infrastructure. So we, what we intend to do is to assess the specific response uh, to uh, secure critical water infrastructures. For instance, if we consider um, as an example, a project or a building that is located in the city of Lisbon. So the, the needed data or information regarding these specific uh, um, themes can be obtained from the document that is presented in the slides. And I'm referring to the local climate change adaptation strategy for the city of Lisbon. Um, and um, just to give you a, a final note on this regard, um, this uh, criteria encompassed in the local strategy and policies um, area are analyzed, let's say like that, are assessed by the, the auditor, but they do not count for the calculation of the final evaluation of the project or the building that the auditor is dealing with. Okay, thank you. The uh, next area is a uh, uh, named project area, so uh, it includes uh, themes as um, mapping the risks of uh, coastal flooding, uh, floods, droughts for the project area. So in, in the case of the, the project area, um, once again, if we, if we go to the case of a project or a building that is located in the city of Lisbon, so the data related, for instance, with coastal flooding or floods, uh, is available in, in the site of the uh, Lisbon municipality. As you can see an example shown here in the in the slides. Um, regarding the, the risk of droughts, both the SPI index, so the standardized precipitation index and the water scarcity index are uh, evaluated. Uh, so the SPI index um, uh, quantifies the deficit or excess of precipitation in, in different temporal scales. So, so we can, this way it will reflect the impact of droughts on water availability. Um, for example, we will have the opportunity to compare our project area with different project areas or also to uh, in different time periods. So by doing this, we, we can um, quantify the risk level of droughts for our project area. Just, just a, a quick comment that in, in, in this specific case, we can find the data on the website of the Portuguese Institute for Ocean and Atmosphere. This is where we can find the uh, data for the SPI uh, index. So proceeding with the project areas, we'll have uh, two more themes. So, as I mentioned, the water scarcity, scarcity index is also evaluated uh, and um, also the risk of heat waves for the project area. So, coming back to the example of a project or a building in the city of Lisbon, the, the, the auditor can obtain the data for the water scarcity index in the website of the Portuguese Environmental Environment Agency. Uh, in concrete by uh, reaching the management plans for the corresponding geographic region. Um, and um, in this specific case, it will allow us to uh, identify uh, if the project area tends for a water stress scenario. So this way, uh, contributing to increase uh, uh, the risk of water supply dis disruption in, in the project uh, area. Just, uh, no, can, can you go back? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's sometimes it's not easy, yeah. I, I changed the slides for you, Sylvie. Okay. So can you go a little bit back? To the, to the previous one, yeah, this one. Just to mention re regarding the, 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 the risk of heat waves, uh, this data is also available on the website of the Municipality of Lisbon, as I mentioned previously, also for the coastal flooding and the floods uh, risk. The next one, please, Pedro. So the, um, the remaining criteria for the, the project area are related both with the fresh water supply sources, but and also with the non potable water sources. So um, in the first case, uh, the auditor will evaluate the feasibility of ensuring diversity uh, regarding fresh water supply. Um, in the case of the city of Lisbon, uh, uh, this information or this data is available on the website of the water supply uh, company. And uh, the auditor will, will also quantify 
um, the distance between the main uh, um, between the project area and the main fresh water supply source. So in other words, he, uh, the auditor will evaluate the level of insulation of the project area regarding uh, water availability. Uh, obviously, in this case, the higher the level of insulation, uh, it will obviously result in higher energy costs and a higher risk of water uh, supply disruption. Next one, please. So the last theme related with um, with the, uh, is related with the, with the non uh, the availability of non potable water sources, um, in particular for the use of uh, uh, non potable uh, uses, and I'm referring to irrigation or washing and, and others. So the most uh, well known example is related to the Wayne water harvesting systems, like the ones that are uh, here presented in the in the slide. Next one, please. So um, finally, I, I arrived to the to the final to, to the third main area. So it's named project response. Um, the themes considered are related to um, climate risk mitigation measures, planted areas, and water fit for purpose. Uh, so the criteria in this case includes um, uh, uh, the assessment of measures that have already been implemented to mitigate or to reduce. Uh, the climate risk identified for the project area. So the project area can already encompass solutions uh, to mitigate or to reduce identified clim climate risks. Um, and on the other hand, it will also assess um, the implementation of mitigation measures that are identified in the local climate adaptation plan for the project area. So uh, the plan identifies solutions that, that uh, will contribute to mitigate and reduce the climate risk identified for the project area. Uh, and I'm referring uh, to all that risk that I, I've mentioned before. Um, for both themes, uh, data can be obtained, obviously, um, through the analysis of the project pieces or uh, uh, visual inspection at the project location. But the auditor, and this is an example that is shown here in the in the slides, the auditor can use um, a detailed, let's call it like this, a detailed list of pre-identified measures to mitigate and reduce uh, a specific climate risk that is uh, available on an online platform named Climate Adapt. This is just an example of what it looks like. And in this case, it will be, sorry, I've just touched the, the screen, sorry, Pedro. And in this case, the auditor, um, it, it is pretty much up to the auditor to decide whether the identified measures um, in the platform are sufficient to totally or only partially uh, adequate it to, uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, mitigate or uh, reduce the climate risks that were identified for the project area. Next one, please. So, um, Still within the project response uh, area, we are also looking at the planted areas. So uh, the intention here is to uh, quantify the percentage of planted, air, uh, planted area that includes native plants, low water or drought tolerant plants, or even rain uh, gardens. Um, mainly the, the, the most Im important uh, outcome of this assessment is to contribute to save, obviously, water and more specifically to reduce the use of uh, potable water for non-potable uses, like I've mentioned before, irrigation and uh, washing and, and, and others. Next one, please. So, um, and I think this is one is the final, the final theme that is considered within the project response uh, area. Uh, so the, the final theme is related with the water fit for purpose um, and the auditor here will uh, estimate the amount of potable water that is used for non-potable purposes like irrigation, washing, fire hydrants, etc. And also um, it, it will be made an estimation uh, of the percentage of climate independent water sources and I'm referring to the signalized water, recycled water that uh, could be available in the project water and will be obviously uh, uh, very useful uh, uh, in terms of uh, water management. And I believe this is all from yeah. my side. Thank you, Sylvia. So um, before we um, enter in the 
case study assessments and uh, where we will um, from the scratch we will um, uh, emit a certificate for two, uh, one building and uh, uh, an outdoor space and then uh, the um, one cer certificate for the the, the neighborhood um, so but before we can um, make a I think five minutes uh, interval um, and uh, we can uh, join uh, again at uh, uh, 25. OK, so see you. Boa tarde, Pedro. Olá, 
Peço desculpa, tive aqui imensas dificuldades e depois já percebi o que é que foi, porque eu estava aí pelo link da, do e-mail e não, devia, ser, devia faltar algum caractere. E, e o link da, da, do, do programa é que dava bem. Uhum. Só que como eu tinha feito atualizações no, no Teams esta manhã, eu parti logo para, para o pior cenário, a achar uhum. que, que tinha deixado de ter acesso ao, ao, ao Teams. Peço desculpa, está bem? Não há problema nenhum. Ok. Vamos já iniciar então. <coughs> So we can uh, restart again the, the presentation. So um, for this case study assessment, um, we present to you the, 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 the case study, uh, an overview of the case study. Um, so this is the um, a Google map photo uh, photo of the, the location. So we can see um, that we have uh, uh, two buildings, uh, uh, building A and building B. And then in the backyard of these uh, two buildings uh, is um, a garden. But uh, at the time that we assess the, the buildings and we made the, the, the audit for the certification, the buildings uh, were already um, construct, uh, built, uh, so it's a new construction um, 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 maturity of, of, of these buildings, uh, but the garden uh, was still um, in design, uh, so what uh, were not uh, built yet. Um, so the, these two buildings are um, identical. Uh, have the same uh, um, the, the same architecture and the same equipment, um, and uh, uh, well, this is another uh, image and uh, photo that we can see uh, uh, this uh, um, this this uh, other perspective. So we have building B, B and building A, and uh, in the background this uh, garden. So for us. Uh, uh, this and for the purpose of the pilot of this uh, of this project, we uh, consider uh, um, for for testing project uh, purpose uh, we consider it um, a neighborhood. So the the um, these um, uh, three um, three entities as uh, as a common um, uh, a common culture like it's the same ar architecture and um, benefit from the the uh, one uh, common uh, public uh, uh, garden. <clears throat> so the the buildings are as I, I mentioned are uh, identical. Uh, so um, each one of them have uh, as uh, uh, is a eight story height um, and eight uh, households per floor. Um, these are the distribution of the the typologies in terms of number of of uh, of uh, um, of rooms. Uh, and um, both of them have as one community laundry and one community uh, bathroom at the um, ground floor and two technical zones, one in the roof and one in the, the basement. 
Um, and uh, these uh, are photos of uh, some uh, relevant uh, equipment that we um, uh, assess in order to evaluate the building and uh, equipment that is related to the water uses, like uh, the domestic hot water system. We have uh, um, this is a uh, um, not so common um, uh, system because it's a, a heat pump system. Um, that is powered by uh, um, by solar um, photovoltaic energy, um, and uh, this heat pump uh, is the system that uh, is used to um, to heat the the water. And in inside of each uh, household, um, we have uh, um, these small um, deposits of water uh, just to maintain the um, the. Um, temperature um, at the, the correct uh, um, uh, set. Uh, we have also uh, circulation uh, pumps uh, because this system has a, a circulation ring of uh, hot water and also we have uh, um, uh, pumps uh, pumping session um, for the um, higher floor, uh, higher uh, floor. So uh, and the, the, the until uh, up to the the second floor, uh, it uh, the the um, the water um, is not pressurized. It's it's uh, it's only uh, for um, uh, the system. The, the transport system is done by uh, gravity. Um, uh, uh, from the second floor to the eighth floor, it's uh, um, powered by this uh, pumping system. Uh, this system has also a variable speed drive, so it's uh, um, efficient in terms of energy efficiency. And as you can see, the, all the, the the network of hot water is uh, isolated. In terms of uh, fixtures and uh, water equipment, um, this is what uh, are uh, installed. Uh, so uh, in terms of taps and showers, um, and, and, uh, all equipments have aerators and uh, um, um, flow uh, reductors, and also uh, in the, the 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 toilet flush has a double action uh, system. Um, regarding the um, the washing machines, they were not installed, so uh, were, um, the 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 owners will have to buy one machine and install it. So uh, it, it was not uh, this uh, the washing machines were not um, pre-installed. Uh, regarding the um, the garden, uh, we have uh, um, 500, uh, 500 uh, uh, square meters of planted area. Um, it's uh, a local uh, vegetation, so um, uh, it was the the the, the native veget uh, vegetation was maintained, and uh, it was added uh, um, similar vegetation to the uh, the parts that were not uh, green. Um, the the irrigation is made by twenty percent of drip irrigation and eighty uh, percent um, by sprayers, and. Um, for the, uh, regarding this uh, irrigation network, um, um, this can this system can be um, irrigated by um, by the utility water, uh, drinking water quality, or uh, it's uh, already installed uh, um, uh, a network for um, uh, reclaimed water from the um, uh, or treated rec rec reclaimed water from the uh, waste water uh, treatment plant um, uh, more, uh, more nearby. Um, so let's go to the the platform. I think the best option is to um, to stop presenting and. Um, share you my screen in order to uh, you can see all the the the, the steps that I, I made to to work in the the platform so um okay let's uh, this is the entry screen of the the platform um can you confirm that, that you can see my screen uh, in the platform it's uh, written certification process. Yes, you can see what? it. Okay, thank you. 
so let's start to um, to um, make a certific uh, certification proce uh, process. We start to uh, well, let's do it um, for uh, the, the the first building. We have to input one uh, photo. Okay. Well, the client is not relevant. Um, the language of the certificate because is, is uh, we can emit a certificate in Portuguese or in English. So it is a, a bilingual uh, uh, platform. Uh, so uh, the first uh, the first certificate will be a building type. This is the uh, uh, the Portuguese identification uh, number of the the building. So. Um, it's not important uh, for for this purpose, uh, and we select or press select a location by the postal uh, code. So, sorry. Okay, this is a, an approximate uh, um, location, and we can correct it. Uh, the and this is the. The, the door number. Okay, let's do it for the building 4A. And we proceed. So in this uh, um, part of the platform, uh, these are the questionnaires that are uh, available. The first one, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the second one is AquaPlus uh, questionnaire. Uh, it's it's the same. So it's the um, the the part of the uh, water efficiency dimension is the same for Aqua Plus um, uh, certificate. So let's start to um, to enter this um, this certificate this questionnaire. This is the uh, water efficiency uh, part of the methodology. So the first question is. Um, uh, is if, if uh, there is alternative uh, um, uh, water source systems in the building provided by certified um, uh, 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 compliant system uh, or in process of certification, but um, our building doesn't have any um, um, alternative water uh, um, system uh, installed. So uh, only the, the, the outside the, the garden has this uh, pre-installation for, uh, uh, um, for the alternative water network, but not the, not the building. So we select none of above. And you can see that in this, in this um, this specific uh, question, we can have a multiple choice. So uh, we can have a, a system that uh, a building that has a rain or, uh, rainwater harvesting, treated grey water, reclaimed water, etc. So we select the uh, convenient uh, responses. Um, regarding the uh, alternative water source destination, so we don't have um, um, alternative water sources, um, but um i uh, in in the left this small um check uh, in blue uh, we can deactivate this uh, criteria so um if you don't uh, the, the if a building doesn't have a, a, a swimming pool we can deactivate this this part of the questionnaire but um uh, we uh, will maintain the uh, alternative water sources um, uh, available <laughs> Uh, because um, well, uh, the building don't have, but should have a, a, a alternative water uh, system for it, for the purposes of be more water efficient. Uh, efficient and uh, well, let's proceed. So we don't have any deposits of uh, um, of uh, alternative water sources. Um, and uh, uh, well, the use. We uh, we don't have any um, we have any uses so none of above again. Um, this type of question is press percentage, so we can select uh, in, in or we can respond in terms of, of percentage. In this case, 
this. Uh, we don't have any, so it's 100% none of the above. Um, uh, regarding water distribution in building networks, uh, the question is, um, um, the building is prepared to be uh, supplied with the alternative water sources? No. Uh, um, we, we don't have this option in this building. Um, and um, regarding the separation in drainage, so we have uh, uh, um, a differentiated uh, network for uh, rainwater drainage, so we selected this option. Uh, regarding water losses in pipes, uh, no, the, the, the building was new and there were no evidence of uh, water losses. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, in, in terms of water meter of the building, um, it's just a simple, um, a simple water meter, so we can we can input this 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 uh, um, remark here. And we um, select none of the above because the other options are uh, for water meters that have um, uh, some kind of um, um, intelligent or um, uh, technologically associated, associated, like a logger or data man management dashboard, a supply interruption, alarm leak for occurrences. So uh, in this case, we have just a simple water meter. Regarding the outside uses, we have, uh, um, um, since we um, are only focused on, on buildings, we don't have irrigation. So in this case, we are going to deactivate the, um, this part of the questionnaire. And what happened? Uh, the, the, the scores that, that, that are allocated in this part of the questionnaire will be distributed um, with the same weights that the other questions have. So it's uh, uh, distributed by the same ponderation that the other questions have. So um, we don't penalize uh, uh, this, uh, this building for not have a re uh, an irrigation system because it, it doesn't have a, a, um, a, green, a green rooftop, uh, etc. So we cannot uh, penalize this, this building. So uh, we deactivate this, this session. Regarding soil and, gr and green roofs, so we, we don't have any green roof in this, in this uh, uh, um, building, so the impervious outdoor pavement or uh, in the in the in the in the uh, terrace are uh, higher than ninety percent. So we don't. We, it's all uh, all impervious. Uh, regarding the attenuation of flu peaks, is carried. Uh, so we don't have any uh, retention system, any rain garden on the top of the building. Um, uh, we are just focused on the building, not in the garden. And so uh, for this question, we don't have any of these uh, options. Regarding the percentage of uh, green roof coverage, it's non-existent. A swimming pool, um, uh, this, these buildings don't, does, don't have swimming pools. Uh, regarding the features, um, what is answer? Uh, what we is, is question in this in this particular question is, uh, what is the the technology um, associated with the, the shower head? So it's, it's uh, um, echo stop uh, it has a flow restriction with aerator, aerator is thermostatic time or, or 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 sensor. So we can um, input the uh, multiple choices in terms of percentage because uh, for this particular case. Um, every features in the building uh, have, uh, um, are, are the same. Uh, so uh, it's a new building and uh, the, the equipment is equal for um, every um, household. But in, in, in the cases that we have differentiated the this, these options by percentage um, in this way. So we have in this kind of uh, the, the shower head, we have a uh, floor restriction with aeration. So 100% of the showers have this technology. And also they are uh, echo stop with fixed, fixed flow position. So as you can see, we have um, 200 uh, percentage points. Uh, so this is why we um, this is multiple percentage. 
regarding the building shower head flow, well, I uh, uh, yes, I this I know from my head. It, it has uh, ten. Um, I'm sorry. This the interval. The the what we measure is uh, ten liters per per minute, and we uh, so every shower was uh, were in this interval. And again, we can put it um, a remark in this uh, in this field. Uh, regarding the the shower heads, um, uh, so they they don't have any evidence of uh, water losses. They are new installed, so um, less than five years. Um, and it's not uh, uh, regarding the, um, the the service of the shower head. It's a, 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 a shower. It's not a, a bath basin. So uh, this is the option correct. Um, so it's a shower tray or wet room. Um, regarding the toilet flushers, we have uh, um, double discharge in all of them. So 100%. Um, and that's it. The other options are alternative water source supply, interrupted discharge, etc. The flood, uh, flush, uh, flushing system is uh, six liters for all flushing uh, flushers of the, the building. Um, and again, no evidence of water losses. It's under than five years. And uh, regarding the sinks and the sink taps, um, I have to consult, I'm sorry. Sink taps. Four to six liters. Well, th that was just the, the Excel that I used to uh, input the, the data for this uh, particular certificate. So we have, uh, it's also a flow restrictor with aerator and also an echo stop uh, technology and is uh, four to uh, six liters of capacity regarding the the, the sink taps we don't have also uh, any evidence of water losses installed less uh, um, from less than five years. It has the, the whole stopper, so we don't have any evidence of water loss uh, through the whole stopper. And regarding the bidet, again, we have in the, the, the taps a restriction with aerator, echo stop uh, with fixed positions. Uh, I don't know by heart uh, the, the, the flow. Uh, okay. Again, six liters. And uh, uh, no evidence of water losses. Um, regarding the kitchen taps, again, we have low restriction with aerator. I'm sorry for this part, it's quite um, exhausting, but the other parts of the methodology are not, are not so, so picky. So, And we have uh, um, more than uh, eight liters in the in the water flow. Uh, no evidence of water losses in the kitchen tap. Installed for less than five years. No evidence of water loss in the tap hole. Regarding the, the, the washing machines. So, um, the, the building will be prepared for washing machines. So, the, um, it's um, foreseen that 
every uh, person that will uh, um, live in this building will have uh, washing machines. So we maintain this criteria um, on, but uh, we select the, it was not possible to determine because they are not installed. Again, for everything, it was not possible to determine. So what happens here is that this um, this uh, score that is uh, is allocated to these questions will penalize this building because they don't install um, uh, efficient uh, um, uh, equipment and also don't doesn't provide any guidance uh, for installations so that they can uh, make some kind of guide to the the inhabitants to to um, or to inhabitants to um, install a particular a more efficient equipment that uh, was not the case. Regarding uh, the domestic hot water system, so the, the building ha um, has uh, um, not flow, only uh, thermostatic modulation. Um, it, it has integration with solar heating system, not solar heating, but solar uh, photovoltaic. It's it powers the 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 pump uh, um, the, the heat pump um, and has temperature readings. Yes. Um, regarding the building mascot water system, it doesn't show any evidence of water loss. And uh, it's new. This is a question for the purchase, and then the um, we have the question for the. Um, sorry, this is a question for the inspection. So we uh, the 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 system were already inspected, and also uh, this question is for the um, the purchase. The how new the equipment is regarding the network. We have. Uh, the network 100% uh, uh, insulated um, in all extension. It's a, a, a extension. And um, we have a recirculation uh, program in this system. Regarding the, um, the volume of water um, uh, wasted in, in the feature located in the far point until it reaches the temperature of uh, 37 degrees. So um, we um, collect the, the the volume of water that uh, um, that uh, the, uh, when the, the the valve was turned to the hot uh, hot water, and we um, we um, measure the amount of liters of water that are wasted. Um, in our, um, until the temperature uh, are reaching the, the these uh, 37 degrees. So we measured it, it was around six liters. So 100% on this uh, interval. Um, and um, the, the, the hot water system is located uh, um, in less than um, uh, 10, um, uh, 15 meters, but in this interval from 10 to uh, um, to 15 minutes, no, sorry, it's less than 10 minutes, 10 meters. Okay, so we have completed the, um, okay, we have uh, two answers that were not, uh, were not responsive, uh, three, uh, four, four, and one, two, four. Okay, let's see it. Three, four, four. Okay, less than five years. And one to four. Okay, the network age, so the building is new, is less than 20 years.
So we, we can submit this questionnaire. Uh, we'll do the same for the water energy nexus. Um, now the questions are um, regarding our alternative water sources. We don't have alternative water sources, so the questions are made in, in terms of uh, um, energy um, perspective. So in this case, what, what kind of treatment that we have and, and these are rated from the most uh, uh, less uh, intensive energy intensive to the most energy intensive. Um, is the reclaimed water produced? No. No. Uh, no what? No alternative water. Um, what destinations are? We don't have. There isn't uh, no. No. No alternative water sources. Um, energy and maintenance for reclaiming. No. Um, okay. Regarding the di water distribution in building network, so the, we have always the uh, efficiency of the pumps motor. Uh, so that ground force pumps has a um, uh, motor uh, with, with the class of IE5, all of the three. And the efficient class of the recirculation pump is uh, in the second interval. This information you can see in the plates of the characteristics of the, of the pumps or in the catalog. Um, regarding energy maintenance for water and, circula uh, and circulation, um, in terms of if the water elevation is not graphitic, uh, are are the elevation pumps provided with local uh, produced energy, renewable energy? So um, we see that 75% is, uh, is uh, no, I'm sorry, 25% is graphitic and 75% is um, provided with uh, um, electricity from the photovoltaics. Are the elevation pumps regularly maintained? So in this case, since they are not in time to, uh, well, we, we we perform this this uh, audit um, where the building were just finished, just uh, just built, so it's a new building. No one's living there, so we deactivate these uh, uh, questions regarding maintenance, so it's not uh, adequate. Regarding irrigation, we don't have irrigation because we don't have any green roof. Uh, swimming pools either. Indoor swimming pools are not present. Regarding the fixtures, so uh, we evaluated static pressure at the first water induced point, and it was uh, three uh, bar or uh, 0.3 uh, megapascal. So this is the, the correct interval. And then we measured the water, uh, the, 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 um, the head loss between the, um, the shower and, the, um, and the, the point of entry. So uh, in, in, uh, at the, the setting of hot water. So it was uh, 0.2 uh, in terms of, uh, um cold water it's in uh, also the second option it is it was in this interval of megapascal and uh, the last point was equal to the to this uh, uh, question because the last point is the is a shower also so uh, but this now uh, we measured in the cold water so we have the uh, also, this uh, this uh, point is uh, point zero two uh, um, megapascals. The domestic hot water system uh, we have an average uh, ratio of the dimension of the pipe and the the, the, the thickness of the insulation. It was the ratio was uh, two. So it's in this interval, for uh, the the 
energy uh, labeling of the um, hot water system. We have 50% uh, of B um, of class B and 50% uh, of class C. This was due to the different dimensions of the, the, the equipment for the, the um, building the, the households with more um, with more more um, um, divisions, um, the the equipment is uh, was uh, bigger. Regarding the uh, domestic hot water system uh, being provided with local produced uh, uh, produced renewable energy, yes, uh, it was um, provided with. Uh, um, uh, um, solar energy and we deactivate the maintenance uh, question um, other equipment uh, efficiency equipment we have in this case uh, a variable speed drive okay so it's like this regarding uh, the monitoring and control we don't have any monitoring system. Um, I'm sorry, this is for the uh, hot water production system. We can, uh, no, no, we don't have any monitoring system. And uh, uh, for the, um, the appliances uh, or washing machines, um, we don't have any, so was not possible to determine neither and but we have for the two cases the the machines that were um, installed um, in 2021 onwards or um, before 2021 so um, we had to fight. we have this option for uh, other um, equipment that may be uh, still installed in the in the houses Energy for the appliance, we don't, uh, it's not, uh, um, it's not uh, renew, re renewable. They don't have this, um, this uh, opportunity. So we save this questionnaire. Okay, and we'll go to the climate adaptation part, the last one. So uh, for, for this region, we have a plan uh, that identifies the climate risks. Um, as Sylvia already mentioned, uh, this plan was from 2017, but at the date that we made the, the audit, it was in this interval, so it was within six years of um, um, or, or the data of, of, of uh, the most recent data of these studies. Um, and in this study, we can find the recommendations for uh, energy and water critical infrastructures. In the pro uh, and, and now we evaluate the project area. Uh, we don't have any uh, coastal flooding risk in this region identified, so it's null or negligible. Uh, regarding the floods, the risk that was identified was moderate. The droughts, I will have to check it. Uh, droughts, droughts. Okay, 0.5.9, okay. Check it again. Okay, sorry, this one. No, sorry, this one. 0.5.9. Um, the scarcity index, um, it's between 20 to 40 percent. Uh, the heat waves, I don't know by heart. It's 2.1, 2.5. Um, we just have only one uh, um, 
one uh, um, source of water that uh, can supply at least 20% of potable uh, water demand. The distance of this main water source is more than 100 kilometers. Regarding the non-potable water, um, in this uh, re the region of the, 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 the project, we have um, sources of non-potable water which can supply non-potable uses. We, 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 uh, we have, the, but only partially. That was the, the water that came from the um, water treatment plant. And regarding the project response, so uh, there was not in, uh, a previous um, solution that was uh, installed uh, previous the, the, the project. So uh, the answer is no, there is no a previous CSL solution that can uh, mitigate the, 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 the climate risks identified. Regarding the project climate risk adaptation, so for coastal flooding, since we don't have any risk, we deactivate this option. Uh, in the building, we're not uh, um, implemented any particular measures to um, mitigate or reduce the um, moderate risk of flood. In the local, um, in the uh, for the droughts, either there was no um, deposit or uh, of water or something, so the, it, it was not implemented any solution. Regarding heat waves, um, only the garden has these these solutions, not the building, so it's also no. Regarding the, the planted areas, we have more than 80% uh, of native uh, plants uh, and uh, or uh, drug tolerant. Regarding the water fit for, for, for purposes, um, the, what is the percentage of drinking water being used for irrigation, uh, firefighting of, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, um, I will exclude it because um, Because I um, this uh, we are not evaluating the 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 it's, it's a building, uh, and uh, water fit for purpose. Um, well, we don't have all the the, the water use in the building is uh, drink uh, uh, of drinking quality. What is the percentage of climate independent water use in the project area? So climate independent, not from the rain, etc. Uh, only from this, uh, this, uh, um, 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 this uh, water treatment plant. So uh, for the, the the distribution of uses, we uh, select uh, uh, under twenty percent. So if I respond to every question, we are uh, in the process of emit this uh, this certificate. So as you can see, um, we have. Three different classifications regarding the energy efficiency, water efficiency, and climate adaptation. This is the score. It's a score from one to one hundred. So um, it's in the middle of the table. This this building, and not so good in the climate uh, adaptation part. And um, we can proceed to the. Uh, what we consider that could be um, uh, the top three uh, strengths and the the, the 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 top three priorities for each particular uh, part of this building. So, uh, for the climate adaptation, water efficiency, and water energy nexus, we have the strengths of the that uh, where are the building. Uh, um, uh, score most of the, uh, its points and the opportunities where it scored less uh, less points and we can um, proceed to generate a certificate global classification is d okay so as you can see, um, we have uh, uh, in this part of the certificate the the data from uh, the auditor, the data from uh, the building uh, address, etc., the local regist registration number, certificate type, uh, the visual um, characterization of the building, and 
we can see all of the dimensions that were evaluated in water efficiency, water energy nexus and climate adaptation, and the score that was obtained in uh, each one of them. So uh, if we have uh, um, low um, uh, or, or a few uh, drops of water, um, this is less efficiency. We have uh, more uh, drops of water. It's we have more efficiency in this in this uh, particular part of the of the questionnaire. Uh, near the water, uh, the the domains, uh, we have the partial classification. So we have C um, classification of C for water efficiency, D for water energy nexus, and E for cl climate adaptation, and. Uh, this is the global uh, classification of the the building. In the uh, in the this part of the 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 certificate, we can see the for each particular um, for each particular uh, dimension, the strengths and uh, opportunities that were identified uh, through the running of the the questionnaire. For this, um, for example, in the water efficiency, we have um, um, water efficiency toilet flushers, water efficient showers, and water efficient uh, hot water production. We don't have efficiency in the dishwashers or washing machines, uh, lack of running water strategies, or lack of running uh, alternative water sources. Um, so, this is the the, um, the first certificate. Let's produce this the the second one. Or I don't know uh, in terms of time. Um, if we have, uh, um, I don't know if if uh, um, I can um, uh, I, I I will perform the 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 outside outside the certificate outside uses um, in terms of time. Or uh, should we? Um, um, have uh, uh, some uh, more discussion period, because um, what I can do is to um, well to to emit a, um, to emit a, a, a neighborhood certification uh, with the, the the certified that uh, are already installed in the in the the platform um, that was from this particular case study. So. Um, I ask for your uh, for your consideration in this. What is your your option, Pedro? It will be it will be good to hear to open the floor to our partners if they have okay. any comments, okay. suggestions. Yeah. So I um, well because of, of of time I can emit mm -hmm. the, the the neighborhood certificate. Uh, uh, with because it's it's a more uh, um, um, fast process because it's already uh, loaded in the the the, in the platform. Okay. I don't have to pick every every uh, every questioner question. So let's do it. Uh, okay. So um, for the the we 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 uh, now emit this uh, building certificate but we 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 want to emit the uh, neighborhood certificate let's do it uh, a new okay i have to input the photo <coughs> Certificate in English, City Lisbon. Okay. And I have to insert, well, the the certificate that, that uh, we made uh, uh, just uh, now, I think, is here. And um, we distribute the, the weight of the neighborhood uh, certificate by implantation area. So the, uh, the area 
of the buildings are 25% of the neighborhood um, and the, the garden is, uh, the area is 50%. So this is uh, uh, nowadays how we perform this, this distribution of, uh, of uh, um, for, for the final uh, rate of the certificate. So I have to input that this uh, building will have 25% uh, of, uh, um, of uh, uh, weight. Then I have to insert other the other building, which is similar with uh, the one that we um, that we um, uh, produce, and then we have to um, to yes a lot. Uh, so they are the two different buildings, and now we input the um certificate of the the garden and we input 50 percent of weight so in this case we will submit uh, and we will have to uh, okay I have to accept uh, this this uh, uh, this certificate and make it uh, valid. Then we can see the block certificate. It's uh, I can save it. And this is the aspect of the um, the the is the the cover of the, the the certificate. Let me put it with more zoom. So we have <laughs> again the the audit uh, data, the identification of the local characterization of the, the of the the neighborhood. We have the global classification. So this global is a C. The uh, overview uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, aerial photography and the, the identification of the spaces that are um, in this certificate. And in the next uh, um, in the next uh, page, we have the um, well the same photo. The building uh, is similar, so uh, we have one. Actually, what we are seeing is two buildings. And we, we see the um, the uh, image of the buildings and then the individual classification of the buildings. And in the next pages, we have the um, we have the um, sorry, we have the individual um, Certificates of the buildings and the, the garden. Bonjour. So, for, for me, it's uh, um, I think it's all. I think we can proceed to the um, uh, question and answers and the discussion of uh, of what you want. I don't uh, um, in the, the the yes please uh, Rochelle. Yeah, um, I was just wondering for the climate ready certificates. Typically, who would be the auditor? Would it be a municipality that would do it, 
And if so, why um, why would it be enforced? What are the repercussions of having a lower or higher? What are the benefits uh, from having the certification? Well, um, actually, the, the auditor is uh, a professional that um, is uh, um, it's an engineer or at least uh, has uh, some background in energy and water efficiency and will have to be trained uh, with a course uh, provided by 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 ADN uh, in order to can emit the the, the certificates uh, so it can be a particular can be a, a, a professional for from the municipality can be a professional for a consultancy uh, so this is uh, um, the, the 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 system is open to both uh, the public uh, uh, part of, of the community, but also the private. So it's a voluntary uh, system. Um, uh, the, the second part of the, the I, I don't understand the, your, your question. Can you please repeat it? Yeah, um, so once you go through the process and you have your certificate uh, and you have your rating, oh, mm -hmm. What do you get out of it? What is the benefit of having this rating okay. for a building? As you see uh, through the, the walkthrough of the, of the methodology, the methodology is, is quite indicative of what is the best option in, in each domain. So when you assess something, uh, um, for instance, uh, when you're assessing the uh, hot water production system, you you can see the options that will score more and uh, are more valorized in, in that in that uh, particular case. So uh, and 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 then uh, you can have um, an, um, you can um, have the um, if you if you don't score so so uh, so good in in a particular dimension of the certificate. You have uh, um, the the notion, and you have the suggestions in the in the second page of the certificate that what are the opportunities that you have to uh, perform better, uh, which means to uh, have a, a, a much higher score in the certificate. So, the higher score in the certificate is related to a higher efficiency in terms of water and energy use and climate adaptation also. And from a building, uh, a builder's perspective, um, what would be their motivation for trying to get more efficient? Would it be to get approval from a municipality or would it be um, more to show that they have a certificate that they've done really well on and sell to others? What would be their motivation to get the certificate? Mm -hmm. The motivation are, are, are many faults. As you mentioned, they, um, they can uh, have uh, um, a tool that can show uh, to the municipality or the, the, the public, uh, the public deciders, that uh, uh, how good is the the, the uh, building in terms of uh, water um, water efficiency, nexus, and uh, climate adaptation. Also for the 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 um, the future um, the future householders, so. Uh, you can show that okay, my building is efficient. It's uh, it's uh, um, you can save water and save energy through the water uses or the, the efficient water uses. And then we also, um, since we score, um, um, we have higher scores. Imagine that you have higher scores in in in, uh, in climate adaptation. You can show that your building. Uh, um, has uh, made some implementations that reduce or minimize and uh, mitigate the risks that were identified at uh, the the um, the climate reset were identified for that particular region. Also, for not not for the uh, building perspective, uh, uh, for the for the um, the. The project owners, like uh, uh, the promoters of uh, uh, municipality, promoters of uh, a building, a public building, this can be an instrument to um, um, 
it, it, it is uh, um, easy to implement and can uh, uh, can give a, 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 a first uh, um, and uh, and uh, uh, also a, um, a complete assessment of uh, how the the building or the project will perform in terms of water efficiency, water energy nexus, and climate adaptation. Uh, Anika, I, I saw your your hands. Can you you can uh, question? Uh, Anika? I don't know if we have any, uh, no, 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 no questions in the comments. Uh, I don't but know, I Anika. Believe, sorry to interrupt you, but I believe Anika is uh, having problems with the audio. Okay. Maybe you can suggest Anika oh. to to write it on the um, on the chat. Yes. Chat, yeah. I believe she oh, yes. is doing That's that it. right now. Thank you. If you, uh, anyone wants to step in, please feel free. While Anik is writing. Otherwise we can wait just one more minute for Anika. I can just quickly chime in with one additional question I have, uh, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering about winter climates and, and colder climates, because a lot of this is very adapted to to Alicante in a very warm climate. I was wondering if there's future plans for having more to include uh, winter options where maybe we only have irrigation for half the time of the year or a few months of the year since our summer is shorter, that can probably affect the results of it. Um, is that something that is planned to be looked into in the future or? Yeah, yeah great, great question. Um, this actually um, and, um, and the idea is to um, pass this methodology to, to Buddha to, to be tested there. And uh, um, these are um, uh, made for um, well, it's not made for the South European countries, but um, it does not um, provide a lot of scope on the, the extreme cold uh, weathers. Like um, we have, for instance, uh, uh, more uh, focus on heat waves than uh, cold waves. So, for the, for 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 water um, scarcity for. Uh, um, for uh, droughts, etc., and for water efficiency, uh, these are the, mo the, the most uh, common uh, um, uh, risks that were identified. But in order to uh, make this uh, methodology available to to um, uh, uh, to Norway, um, uh, we will have to adapt uh, something. Um, uh, not only the the type of uh, risks identified, but also the um, the weights that are um, attributed to each uh, domain. For for example, we, we have um, um, more weight attributed to, to the to the um, 
water losses or, or and 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 uh, for uh, uh, other reality that uh, um, these weights are not so uh, equitative so uh, particularly the weights and the, the climatic risks are the two uh, main parts of the methodology that would need to be uh, adapted also <laughs> so I think uh, and it uh, uh, also uh, just uh, write a question. Mm -hmm. I was wondering. I am audible now. Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. I can also explain. Um, yeah. Sorry for that. Um, so I was just wondering um, where the system boundaries of the certificates are. So I had sometimes the feeling that. You focus on the building itself. So if you have a look at the alternative water resources and also on the leakages of the network, you just focus on the network within the building or the alternative water resources, for example, the rainwater captured by the building itself, but not on the water resources the municipality is providing to the building. So I was wondering also in regards to um, Rachel's question that it's also like an incentive for the municipality maybe to um, compare compare different buildings and have a look um, how to improve the water efficiency or energy efficiency. So maybe for the municipality would be also like interesting, okay, can we supply alternative water resources to the different buildings? Um, if this so is this included, or did you put the system boundaries on purpose just for the building? Well, um, we, it's it's somehow included uh, now in this uh, because um, we have the um, in particularly in the, the in the climate adaptation part of the methodology, we assess. Uh, the availability of um, alternative water sources uh, that can came from other or distant parts of the um, of the region. So we don't only access the availability of water sources, for instance, um, um, only in uh, in that region. We, we evaluate the possibilities uh, of to use the, the the alternative water source in this project but which came from from other or other other places o also another thing that um, it's outside of the building uh, uh, frontier is the um, is the uh, adaptation strategies or adaptation solutions that were implemented so uh, the building uh, can the building in the neighborhood can benefit from solutions that are municipal and are uh, evaluated also in this uh, methodology. Um, uh, you, are sh you are right because uh, I think 80% of the of the, um, the, um, the criteria that we evaluate are under the scope of uh, um, the, um, the, the neighborhood. Uh, but uh, um, we have also criteria like uh, um, distance of the main water sources, the um, and we have also uh, other criteria that uh, were abandoned. Um, in the, we evaluated the, um, in in the past uh, um, versions of the, the methodology we evaluated. The, the amount of water available in the dams, in the, the groundwater. So, but uh, um, the, um, the experts that we, we listened uh, focus more, more this action in the, the neighborhood frontier and for particular for the re reclaimed water and uh, some, uh, um, some uh, um, climate risks uh, we uh, have this more uh, broad scope i don't know if uh, uh, i will um, i was clear yeah, like, yeah uh, if you need so. more 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 uh, explanations yeah no i think so as so i understood the users and the focus so they are like the actions of the house owners or householders is in the focus so every activities he or she has a mandate on 
is included. Like that, there's a focus on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, I think, yeah, you're clear. Thanks. Okay. Any more uh, suggestions, questions? Uh, so if we don't have, um, I can ask uh, to Marina to um, wrap up the session and uh, conclude uh, the, this this uh, this section. And for my part, um, I thank you a lot for your participation. Um, and I will make this um, uh, video uh, available for for the other partners. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Pedro. Yeah, the session was uh, well a bit long, but very interesting. Um, as I said in the beginning, today's session was the the first opportunity that we then had to publicly present the this year CR, CRC methodology, even if in as a restricted panel of experts, but with the share of this video, I believe the, our message can be spread to more partners. Um, but it shows the work and the efforts developed during these past years in putting together criteria to add the water energy nexus and the climate, climate adaptation dimensions to the water efficiency one uh, already brought by the Aqua, uh, Aqua Plus system. This methodology compiles in one class a detail, detailed and through evaluation of a real estate development. This is a clear added value in terms of real estate evaluation and, and the path towards green loans and green mortgages, but also looking into the project stage an opportunity to develop better and more resilient urban settings that can anticipate phenomena like water challenges, water scarcity, uh, water storms, and even others. Upon this session, uh, I then will invite other agents, namely auditors from the Aqua Plus system, to get to know and to test the CRSI methodology, already anticipating what may be a natural evolution of this methodology into, uh, uh, into an autonomous evaluation system within our uh, universe, our ADANS universe. In the meantime, uh, I then will continue to apply this methodology to other buildings, namely from the Lisbon mun municipality, which have already served as pilot cases, and will continue to issue more certificates during the project duration, of course. So uh, other partners uh, who are interested in and wish to apply this methodology to other realities are also welcome to contact us and to do so. The transfer of this tool is also foreseen to happen to Bodo, what of course uh, does not preclude the other, other partners to express their interest if uh, interest is in the tool as well, if you if you want to, of course. We thank you again for your for your participation and hope the session has been a, a positive contribute of the Lisbon Living Lab to this to this team, to the Be Water Smart team. Uh, thank you from our side and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.